This is Pex Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 13, Seki Gahara. Alright, so let's get this started. So we're going to start off by looting this corpse. Let's go right here, and before we proceed further, we're going to activate our Kekai, just to uh, wave dash through this field, past all these enemies. And the uh, first boss that we're fighting is named Otami. So we're going to go right here. Uh, so the enemies that are right behind us are not actually going to go after us. Uh, so you have the opportunity to prepare. So have your dual sword out. Use your Kekai, Carnage. Wrap your dual sword with electricity. And then as soon as we skip the cutscene, uh, we're going to use Sloth. And then dodge his attack. Use Weakness. And then, uh, again, just dodge the attack again. And then hunt, keep attacking him with the uh, low stance light attack. Uh, and then when he does that dash, um, you have the opportunity to just keep hitting him two times. He'll keep dodging. Uh, then when he does his living weapon, use the opportunity to go the high stance and then use water slash. And there you go. If you have done this correctly, congratulations. You have defeated Otami. All right. So collect all the weapons and the armor there. Switch to your katana, or raikiri, if you want to call it. And uh, we're going to go all the way to the right. Uh, loot this corpse, and we're just going to kick down this ladder. It's a safe precaution in case if you're going to die out there. And then you'll just spawn there, just climb up the ladder, and then go all the way down here. And when we get to the bridge, we're going to use our Kekai again. And we are just going to wave dash through this giant battlefield. Uh, be warned, you're going to get cannons and arrows shot at you. So also a matchlock coming at you. So basically, if you see these trees, just keep going past there. If you see that giant spike tree uh, and if you'll see the river, just go follow this river. Make sure to dodge the enemy's attacks and then you'll see a uh, shrine right here all right so the next boss that we're fighting i believe his name is shima uh so we're gonna switch to our dual swords uh about this enemy he has a spear and he has a spirit as well it's a lightning lion so yeah just run jump down here and before you go further Kekai, Carnage, uh, wrap your dual sword with water, and as soon as you skip the cutscene, immediately use Sloth and Weakness on him. Alright, and then I recommend just attacking him as in high stance light attack. Uh, I believe it's just a, a better way of uh, attacking him. So yeah, just uh, every time he attacks, just have the opportunity to keep attacking him. Uh, with a combo, and as soon as he uses his living weapon, use sloth and weakness again. And uh, when he uses his living weapon, he does not flinch. So just only attack him uh, at least a couple of times. Uh, roll back. He has a really ridiculous reach, so just dodge to the side and then just attack him a couple of times and then roll back. And then when his stamina is depleted, his uh, he'll. Uh, be crumbled, and then you have the opportunity to do a finishing blow on him. I got a little greedy right there, so be careful. Alright, so he's gonna use his living weapon again, and I only had a weakness left, so I just use weakness right there. And uh, hopefully, if you have done these steps correctly, congratulations, you have defeated Shima. There is a move that he would do. Uh, he would like launch himself in the air and then slam. Uh, that would be an opportunity for you to use Water Slash. Uh, best way to dodge it, just step out of the way. And then as soon as he slams, just run behind him and then use Water Slash. Alright, so uh, go to inventory. Check your weapons and armor, and if you have prestige points, use them as much as you have. Alright.
Alright, so as you see, you get uh, the Lightning Lion Guardian Spirit. And then uh, we're going to go to the Shrine, go to Offering, and then we're going to sell all the weapons and armor right there to gain more Amarita and Elixir. Alright. And uh, then I believe we're just going to... We're just going to level up right here, and we are going to increase our heart and our skill by two. And on the uh, next video, the mission that we're going to is called the Source of Evil. Alright, we're going to be finding all the Kodamas and Seki Gahara. Once again, this is on New Game Plus, and I've defeated the enemies in this area just to find the Kodamas quicker. Alright, so for the first Kodama, we're just gonna wave dash our way down here. And then instead of taking the left, we're gonna go straight, then go to the left, uh, go all the way down here, and then you'll find the first Kodama. Alright, and for the next one, just gonna go and we're gonna be right here where these where all the enemies were and then we're just gonna go all the way down here take a right and then go to the left and then you'll find the next Kodama alright so for the next Kodama it has to be after Otami so I'm just gonna edit this out and then we'll get back right to finding the Kodama Alright, so for the next Kodama that we are going to find, just gonna wave dash there, and wave dash all the way down, and then when we get to the bridge, take a left, and then we're gonna wave dash all the way down this river. Again, just wave dash all the way down here and you'll find the next Kodama. Alright, and then for the next one, so go to the right, go all the way down. And uh, basically, we go all the way here to the right where our farm is. And we see those three uh, red allies right there. And a half-broken tower is next to the next Kodama. Alright, and for the next one, it's just right across from here. So, let's go across. There's going to be a couple of enemies here. Or actually, a third one. Uh, it's going to be unexpected right here. Uh, one's going to shoot at me. And I'm just going to have to shoot him right back. Alright. And then where you see that uh, fallen tower, right next to the Kodama. Alright. And then for the next Kodama, just wave dash all the way down here. And when you see the giant spike tree and a fence, just go right behind the fence. And the next Kodama is right here in this river. Alright, and for the final Kodama, wave dash right all the way here, right where this river is. At first I was going to fight him, but then I realized there were a bunch of enemies right behind him, so I just avoided that. So go up here, and then when you see this giant fence, just hug the left side, and congratulations, you have found all the Kodamas. Alright, so let's go to the nearest shrine. to the blessings by going to the left which is to the left actually and then we're gonna check how many kodamas we have in each blessing and I hope this video has helped you out